What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we are taking a look at this Land Rover Defender V8. It is a 110 version, so it's the long version as opposed to the 90 version, the shorter one we used to own. Uh, we sold that car because, yeah, we just had no freaking purpose for that car. It was a bit too over the top. It was not very practical. It was too small. Uh, yeah, it was, it was just, it was just one car too many. We were able to sell it pretty well, so uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I do miss it sometimes because I absolutely loved it. I think it looks so cool, the V8. It just works but we did change one thing and that was the exhaust because stock it sounds really good but it kind of lacks a bit of volume and depth so we added a quicksilver exhaust and that is why this gentleman came to us with his urban uh, defender 110 and uh, he asked us if we could install that quicksilver on his car as well so we did we actually sell it in our store go check it out link is in the description and i'll link the exhaust in the video as well uh, it is a really good upgrade for your Defender. So that's what we're going to check out today. What is the difference in sound? Uh, we're going to do a quick walk around because we've done a review of the car already. It's just a longer version. And then we'll take it for a drive towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn blast. Now, as you can see, we have a bit of urban going on. So an urban badge here, urban right there. That is an urban grill part as well. And then we've got these wheels, these concaver hybrid forged wheels yeah that's what they're called uh, with around that Pirelli Scorpion Zero tire so these are all seasons 23 inch wheels which means that the brakes are absolutely dwarfed look at that uh, so behind that we've got the regular Land Rover Brembo brakes for the Defender V8 uh, you get uprated anti-roll bars, upgraded suspension as well for the V8. You get a couple of goodies. We've got a V8 badge on the side there and then the urban side steps. And of course, being a Dutch car, this has also been converted to a van because it saves like a hundred grand in uh, taxes. <laughs> and uh, it's just too good not to do it, but he has a 110, so he actually has a practical car instead of our miniature uh, delivery van. So 23 inch at the rear, 285 all around. We've got an urban rear wheel cover, and then we've got the Quicksilver exhaust, as you can see, with the carbon tips. Uh, stock, you have the, those weird tips, those chrome tips that go down a little bit. These tips are actually a lot better, I think. It suits the car, uh, it's nice matte carbon, and uh, yeah, it definitely gives the rear a little bit more of a sporty look and also indicating that you've got some more sound coming from it, which is nice. So, let's check out the engine. There it is, the five liter V8 supercharged engine, 525 horsepower, 625 newton meters of torque, 5.2 seconds to 100, top speed is 240 kilometers an hour. Uh, it weighs like 2,500 kilos. It's a big boy, this. And it's a Carpathian edition. So that means that you get this matte uh, Carpathian gray. We had the Carpathian gloss gray, but it's actually the same paint. Land Rover just add a bit of matte PPF to it. And then uh, you have a Carpathian edition. So that's a special edition on a budget, I would say. And then we've got the tan leather, that is super nice. That's what we also wanted, but uh, they are very rare actually with this interior. So good job on specking this because this just livens up the interior so much. Otherwise it's so dark and uh, a bit boring. I mean, it's a cool interior. It's design wise, it's very cool, but it could do with a bit of color. And this definitely adds that. Uh, the seats are okay. So on longer journeys, they do get a bit uh, iffy. Uh, we've got a Alcantara steering wheel as well, which is nice. And uh, well, let's start it up because that's what it's all about. Now let's go to dynamic. And then we've got the Quicksilver app. Uh, there's a little controller in the rear that's uh, linked to that, that's hooked up to the 12 volt in the rear. Then you hit connect, it connects to the unit and then you can close and open the valves. So, 
could actually show you or let you hear that. There they go. And it's a nice difference because with the valves closed, it's like stock, but a little bit louder, I would say. And then open, it's definitely deeper and more full bodied than stock. So this is valves closed. Oh. So annoying. Okay, I'll just open the windows. So this is dynamic mode, valves closed, Quicksilver exhaust. So you hear the supercharger as well. And then a bit of V8 sound. Now, if we go to the valves open. That sounds really good. You also get some nice burbles sometimes when you drive it. And uh, well, we've also got some before and after videos for you guys now. So yeah, as I said, stock already, it sounds pretty good, but uh, you definitely add another layer of uh, V8 goodness with this exhaust, which is nice. Okay, so let's have a little drive. We've got the sunroof open, so we have a little bit more sound. Gearbox in sport, we're in dynamic mode. It's such a nice car. Nice little burble on the shift as well, little crack. That is cool. You don't get that with the stock exhaust, not this loud. Oh, that's good. Yeah, this is, this is the right engine for this car. It just works so well and it sounds good it's got plenty of power to move it it's a bit like floaty it, it moves around it's so nice and the 110 the longer version is also a, a bit more comfortable than a 90 because you have a longer wheelbase i don't know if they actually had to stiffen up the suspension as well because it's so short for the 90 but this just feels quite a bit more comfortable actually so that's nice but it, it really ticks all the boxes of cars that I like. It's got a V8. That's it. I'm a simple man. I, I see a V8. I like it. I don't think I've ever driven a car with a V8 that I really, really didn't like. It's always something. It just adds so much charisma and character and fun. It's quite a quick car picks up well the hood moves up when you hit the throttle which is also super cool so let's do a couple of revs here in the tunnel also have a bit less wind here which is nice windows down
Sometimes it burbles. Oh. It's definitely a lot, a lot darker than before. That's nice. So, also nice, you don't always get the burbles. So, it's not like super repetitive. You can't really predict when they're going to hit. Sometimes they, they are there, sometimes they're not, which I quite like. But before we hit the Autobahn, let me show you petrol vibes these things you've seen them before on our channel we absolutely love them we've got them here in the workshop we've got them in the sim room upstairs as well this is the ford gt as you can see we have it against this wooden wall now so you have a different effect compared to the wall upstairs but these things are amazing the design is great they are laser cut from steel and you can have a custom design of your own car as well, which is mega. They also now have different versions available. So they have a neon one, which is backlit, looks super cool. They have a standing one, which is a bit smaller for your desk or something like that. They also have a frame with different angles. And for some cars, they also have a front or rear angle or a top angle available but go check out petrolvibes.com for all the different versions again you can make one of your own car as well just send in a pic and they will make a design of your specific car with your accessories looks super cool and use code autotop and l10 for a 10 percent discount enjoy the video i've got a digital speedo for you guys there i don't have a speedo cam but we also have the head of display maybe you guys are also able to see that that's pretty big actually okay so here we go, full throttle, fourth gear, doesn't kick down, it has the torque to just pull it through. Oh, you have to shift yourself, okay. Okay, Land Rover, I see you. Now, as usual, we do have a bit of wind noise, of course, because you have that super straight up windshield. But that's 240. 245, I don't think it will go quicker than that. It's actually, it's pretty quick. <laughs> It's not a very slow car, I mean, especially for 2,500 kilos, it's not bad. So I have my trusty cameraman on the bridge here. So you guys can hear what it sounds like on the Autobahn, but it's a bit busy. Yes, definitely a very, very good upgrade for your Defender V8. If you have any questions, we've got a WhatsApp account on the website as well. So you can contact us there. And uh, well, honestly, very, very good upgrade and a lovely sound for this V8 Defender. Big thanks to the customer for trusting us with his beautiful 110 V8. Awesome interior. Enjoy the car. Uh, to you guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it you can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle you can also check out this video or this playlist see you at the next one bye